What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man Theo Butler, and welcome to a. When did we lose respect for our elders? Episode. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. With the raw women nation, y'all go ahead and turn that thing on. Yes. Y'all turn that thing on. Y'all be real. Turn that thing on. Before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Why? Because if you know me, grow me, and sharing is caring. And constructive comments do help a brother grow, help the station grow. Y'all see me? Y'all see me. It's that time of the year. It's that time of the year. Y'all, yeah, this is my squad. This my squad. This my professional squad. I bleed black and gold. I do. I do. I do. I don't, I don't know what. That's why we lost that Super Bowl, but that boy said black and yellow, black and yellow. It's not black and yellow. It's black and gold. Get it right. Um, Young man. Young man. Young man. Young man. I'm sorry. Uh, this video, though. Y'all, y'all, um, y'all, anybody want to rap it? Anybody, anybody, anybody. Because for him not to be making any sounds whatsoever, he stay busy. Uh, when do we lose respect for our elders? And yes, I'm speaking specifically to the black community because I, I'm black and I'm, I'm noticing it. I play flag football. I do. Won't play this year. Been playing since 1987, so... It's finna be what? Let me see. 97. <laughs> <laughs> it's finna be 97, 2007, 2017. This, 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 2017. Oh, 2018, 2019. 2020, 2021. This finna be what? My 35th year playing? I'm, I'm not a math. Don't do that. I am not a math major. No, English major. Create specifically. Creative writing with a minor in communications. That's that's my major. So um, <laughs> I can't add numbers unless I got a dollar sign in front of me. Doing a video. Who is it? Who is it? It's just me. I'm sorry. How was your day? It was good. I found a crystal. You found a crystal? Okay. My daughter found a crystal. That's my daughter, Julia. She found a crystal. She just got back from the um, doctor's appointment and everything. Say, hey, Julia. Hi. Yeah, there she go. That's my baby girl right there. Thank you, girl. Uh so, see? Respectful. Mannerable. Now I know as a parent, I gotta stay on top of that to make sure she goes out in the world and still has manners like that. But I'm looking at us and I'm trying to figure out based on and this is why I really don't like interacting with folk. Cause I was raised a certain type of way. Shout out to Mr. Ray Smith. Shout out to Grand Madam Tarot. I know those individuals, those two individuals to be older than me. And I give them the proper respect. You get ma'am, sir. And Mr. Ray Smith, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he getting ready to turn 60 soon. So it's a five-year age gap there, five, five to six, right? So there's a there's respect there. I look at him as being my elder. The dude is five years older than me. I'm looking at my younger brothers, younger sisters, and I'm trying to figure out what, what happened to respect for elders. I'm gonna talk to you guys. I know, I, everybody, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I know the way society said everybody ain't got a black father, but I know everybody got a black mom. What's going on? No, 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 dead ass, what's going on? I, I, I need to know, like I need everybody to hit me up in the comment section, like, what, what's going on? I play football with brothers younger brothers that are in their 20s and 30s. And it's based on the interaction that I've had with y'all for way too many years. It's got me looking at y'all. I'm not the same person that I was then. And how I'm going to respond to disrespect. But I never was the person that deserved the disrespect. So now I'm looking at y'all like, what is it about y'all that make y'all feel comfortable enough to talk to people that are 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years older than you, like they the same age as you. I need the, I need this interaction. I need this comment. I need this on the comment section. Like I need this feedback because I'm I'm all for fixing bridges. I'm all for building bridges. I'm all for repairing bridges. I'm not for burning bridges unless that's the only choice that's left on the table. Especially when it comes to my younger brothers, my younger sisters, because I have nothing but daughters and a granddaughter. So I'm trying to figure out what it is because I'm looking at younger brothers 
Y'all that I see on the football field, do you know how much knowledge I have in my head? I'm going to go ahead and say it for what it is. It's actually a blessing to be able to step on the same field that I'm, that I'm on. Not that I'm all that in a bag of chips. It's that I'm a wealth of res I'm a resource, a wealth of knowledge that you kick into the side for what reason? Do you know what it takes for me to even be on the same field with y'all? Y'all being 20, 30, 40 years my junior and me still being able to be competitive? You don't appreciate that for what it is, do you? that for what it is. It's something to be said. Shout out to Kenny Strong. It's something to be said for a brother who hasn't played flag football in a minute but played on a team that I played with. A team the way I was drawing up plays. For him, for his brother, his frat brother that he went to college with who was coaching a girl flag football team, high school in Connecticut. For him to say, hey, I know somebody that can get you where you need to be. And the brother reaches me, reaches out to me, and I get that get that knowledge to him. And he, he's successful with it. There was no hubris involved. But I'm looking at younger brothers and I'm trying to figure out what, what is it about y'all that make you look at the dude that you know had that you see got gray in his hair. That you know is older than you. And instead of giving him the respect that's due to him. Without him uttering a word, has he hasn't made a move, no action whatsoever. Your first response is to disrespect as opposed to respect. I got questions. What do you think you know more than he does? What do you think that you can tell him about life? What makes you think in your mind that you and he are the same? Equal. That he doesn't deserve your respect. I don't want to ask the obvious question, the simple question. Is it because you don't have a daddy? Is it because in your lifetime, you were never taught the values of respecting an older male, specifically an older black male? Here's what's more troubling, or at the very least, I find troubling. You respect the white male that's his age before you respect him. It's telling in this movement, recast the child, boycott Black Panther too, on the chat with Bozeman. Way too many of us are looking past Derek Bozeman, who's older than I am, and a pastor. And we're locked into what Kevin Feige said. Crazy, because we're locked into what the cast and crew are saying. And if I'm not mistaken, Derek is older than everybody else on that cast and crew, except for maybe Angela Bassett. Yep. But we would disparage what Derek has to say older black male much like we would disparage what black males have to say in general older black males and I'm really trying to figure out why y'all probably looking at my hair like Theo do so with that this is one of the other benefits of being an older black male you look at my videos my hair wasn't this long two years ago but being an older black male who hasn't cut off all his hair, I'm still able to grow my hair. I know some of y'all be like, damn, don't your hair, your hair match your, <laughs> match your jersey? Bump y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that until I put my hair down. But help me out in the comment section because I'm trying to figure out what it is I have a next door neighbor that's in his 70s we talk a lot damn near every day that's my elder I'm an adult 
Like him, I'm a father. Like him, I'm also a grandfather. But I'm never going to be on his level, regardless of how much money I make, regardless of how many children I have, regardless of how much property I own, regardless of how popular I become. I'm never going to be on his level because that is my elder. What I can do is learn from my respect, my elder. But at the very least, whether I agree with what my elder has to say or not, I need to respect my elder. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Often said, not used practice hardly enough. We would do better in this world, young, old, male, female, heterosexual, LGBTQ, black, white, Jew, Gentile. If we just learn to respect one another as we would want others to respect us. I don't know why that's being lost. It makes me really want to ask, who raising y'all? I ain't asking, I'm just asking. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me and everything like that. I really didn't even want to do this video, but I'm trying to figure out what's going on in our society. I know every older person ain't the best example, but that older person, regardless of whether you like that example, is an example of something. You might want to pay attention. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace.